Hello, and welcome to another episode of Momentum. I'm your host, Philip Allison. Our guest today is Andrea Turnbow, a junior majoring in biomedical engineering. Andrea, thanks for joining us. Hi, Philip. It's an honor. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're very glad to have you. Um, I know just jumping right in, um, you're, like I mentioned, uh, junior majoring in biomedical engineering, but you're also very busy with some extracurriculars as the president of the Engineering Student Council this year. Yes. Yes, sir, I am. I am. Um, I was elected the president of student engineering student council last semester, and um, it's been it's been an amazing experience so far, and it's just getting started. So, yeah, um, were you involved in the group um, last year as well? Yes, sir. Um, one of my friends was actually the vice president. Um, he's been vice president for a few years now, and he got some of us to join, and I got involved that way. And it just kind of stuck, and I went up from there and ended up being president now, and um, it's been great. Um, were you elected the first time, or you can, any student can join? Any student can join. Um, you have to have like a certain amount of points to be considered a member. You know, you have to come to meetings, and those count for points. But um, we had elections last semester, at the end of last semester, and. Um, People ran for positions, and we just had an election. We had to do it online, but um, but yes, sir. Oh. And um, what are your duties as um, president of the group entail? So the Engineering Student Council in general is we're kind of a bridge between the engineering college and the deans and the uh, engineering students. So as president, um, I just kind of we lead meetings and I make sure we have connection with um, the National Engineering Student Council um, and make sure that we're involved with our region and um, just kind of we plan events and it's a it's a great way to get involved and it's we work a lot as a team so even though you're president or you're a leader it's a lot of teamwork on top of that. So. Uh, and I would imagine that keeps you fairly busy. Is it, is it a big time commitment? Oh, yes, sir. It keeps me fairly busy. Um, currently, I'm taking 18 hours, and I am also involved in choir on campus. Um, I'm in state singers, and um, I do theater in, um, in the, the community theater in Starkville as well. And being president, it's an amazing opportunity, but it is a lot of commitment. Yeah. For students that maybe just want to join and maybe not seek office, but, you know, maybe just want to be part of the organization, is it a fairly big time commitment for them as well? Um, I, no, I don't think so. Um, when I was just a regular member, it was very flexible. We have bi-weekly meetings, and you can come to meetings as you like, and they, we have, we, plan, we used to plan events, and we would have recruitment out on the drill field. We would have fun activities to get involved in, and if you want to come, you're welcome to come. So it's, it's very flexible. Yeah, and I would imagine a lot of that has changed um, this semester with the, uh, the conditions that the university is working under. Absolutely. So are you trying to handle or trying to hold like virtual events or um, you know, different ways to connect with students if you can't do it in person? Yes, sir. We, um, we used to have our meetings all in person, but now we do them over Zoom. And... Um, so we have our meetings online and we do, we're trying to find a way, we have different committees in the Engineering Student Council. There's recruitment, uh, you know, planning events, finance, and um, such and such. And we're trying to, we usually break out into committees in our meetings so we can plan events and stuff. But um, that's become a little bit of a challenge and we're still trying to figure out a way to do that. And um, some of the officers, we've been talking about planning events that could be done online as well since there are more restrictions now and trying to keep socially distanced. It can be difficult to plan in-person events. Yeah, well, and I know one of the, the big events you guys usually hold every year is the Engineering Student Organizational Fair where students can go and, and actually meet with different student organizations face-to-face, -face, and obviously that is not going to happen this year. Um, how are you guys um, adjusting to that? Um, absolutely. Usually every year um, before classes start, we have a big organization fair. It's usually in the engineering living learning community dorms and many booths set up and we have pizza and everybody can just 
get involved and see what they want to do and see what's out there. But since we're not able to do that this year, we came up with a way that you can do it virtually as well. So we have all of the engineering clubs who wanted to be involved, all of the organizations, they made a short one-minute video talking about their club and why people would want to be involved and some of the topics, some of the highlights about their club. And so we had them make these videos and they're going to be posted on the Bagley College of Engineering YouTube. So any student can go and see still what's out there and see if they want to join. There's contact information out there. And so we still highly encourage students to get involved, even though it's a very difficult time to now. And I know online classes have been a challenge for a lot of students, but, um, but people are out there and it's still good to get involved and we're very flexible. So. Well, thank you for the plug for the college's YouTube channel. Um, as you mentioned, those videos are going to be on the college's YouTube channel and we're going to roll those out um, hopefully very soon for interested students um, can, like you said, can go and learn about the different organizations. And there are quite a few. I was surprised at how many different engineering student organizations there are. If you have an interest in, in some sort of engineering and even things that are outside of engineering, it seems like there's a group for you. So, um, and you mentioned this has obviously been a very unique semester uh, in terms of, of the coronavirus and, and things of that nature, but um, how have you personally been able to adjust? Um, how have your classes been? Um, I know there's a mix of kind of in-person and online learning, and I'm just curious how you've been able to adjust. It's been, it's honestly been a little bit of a challenge. Um, I've never been a big fan of doing online classes. I've always learned better face-to-face, -face, and I know a lot of students are the same way. It's very difficult, um, but at the same time, it's helpful because we have a lot of time to kind of structure what we have to do and get organized. And um, But as I did say, I'm taking um, 18 hours a semester, and I'm taking two labs. One of my labs is in person, so I still get that hands-on experience, which is great. But um, but yeah, it's been a little bit of a challenge, and I know for a lot of people it has as well. But it we'll get through it. So yeah, it just seems like a lot of people are, are really just doing the best they can and and kind of adapting to difficult circumstances. Um, you mentioned kind of some of your your labs, and one of them being in person. Is it is it kind of easier to work for you? Uh, is it easier for you to work in person? Or in, I would imagine in those lab situations it is. Yes, sir, it is. I'm a very hands-on person. I want to um, hopefully work in a lab someday. So being able to still go into lab, they split our lab in two. So we're spaced out and um, we're able to still get that experience, um, performing all of those experiments. And um, it's it's really good. I'm very thankful that it's still in person and we are taking very serious precautions in it, but um, it's, I'm, I'm learning and it's, it's great. Yeah. Well, I know another big part of the um, engineering student experience for a lot of engineering students is co-ops and internships. And I would imagine some of that has changed this semester as well. Have you been able to take advantage of any co-ops or internships in the past? Oh, yes, sir. Um, so as a biomedical engineering major, it's it can be, for me at least, very difficult to find um, internships in my field. A lot of the engineering internships are for chemical or industrial, aerospace, mechanical engineers. But um, I was thankful to get an internship the past two summers at a manufacturing company in Memphis. It's called Radians Inc. And they make... Um, masks. They made a lot of facial masks for uh, COVID-19 and they donated many, many masks and um, we make safety equipment as well. But I worked in the accounting and finance department, which is not my major at all, but um, I'm taking a minor in math as well. So it helped in that field and I was able to gain experience with holding meetings and um, I made databases and presented to president of the company and the VPs and I worked with um, people that were just incredible, incredible people and it was great to get any experience that I could because, you know, especially last summer when everything started to become more difficult, um, 
I was able to get communication skills and learn person skills and it was just I'm very thankful to have any experience at all. It was a lot of fun. So Yeah, it sounds like if, even if it wasn't necessarily strictly um, an engineering experience, you were able to kind of translate some of those skills um, and experiences that you had into future um, work positions. Absolutely. Um, well, I know you're only a junior and you still have a little, little time to go before you graduate, but do you kind of have an idea of what you want to do in the future, kind of which direction you're heading? Yes, sir. Um, it's changed a little bit since um, I came to MSU. I used to want to do prosthetics and uh, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not on the pre-med track. I'm strictly engineering, but um, now I'm looking more into wanting to um, deal with vaccines and see what's out there and I want to do research on diseases like Alzheimer's or cancer and stuff that's still, there's a lot that's unknown about it. So um, right now I'm currently applying for an internship in NASA, which has nothing to do with that, but um, there's still opportunities for biomedical engineers at NASA, even though it's um, an aerospace company. But um, so I'm just hoping that something something good will come up. Yeah. Well, we certainly wish you a lot of luck uh, in that area. One of the things I wanted to, to kind of touch on, um, obviously one of the stereotypes with engineers is it's a lot of math and a lot of science and a lot of quantitative stuff, but you're involved in, in choir and community theater. Um, is that just like an outlet for you or something that you've kind of always enjoyed doing? Um, I've been in theater and choir since I was a little girl and um, it is definitely an outlet for me. It's um, a very good way to take a break from all of the engineering and math. And um, I do a lot of musical theater. And um, it's just, it makes uh, my schedule more tight because we can be at the theater until 10 o'clock at night sometimes. And then I have a test at 9 in the morning the next day. But um, it's, it's worth it. And it's good to have a lot of other um, hobbies that you're a part of even though you're engineering and um, it's a good way to just kind of relax and take my mind off of things and help refresh my brain when I go back to studying. So, yeah. Is that something that you would advise um, in other engineering students that it's good to have and some interest outside of engineering? Absolutely. It's always good to be well-rounded and have um, different experiences. You know, never say no to an experience if it comes along as long as it's a good experience because it could help you in ways that you couldn't even imagine. And um, it's the, you meet great people. The people at um, MSU Choir and at um, Starkville Community Theater are some of my favorite people and I love them dearly. So it's always, you can make great friends. Yeah. Well, that, that sounds great. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you can keep up with all the latest news at the Bagley College of Engineering on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching.